Hello and welcome to Infinity. In version 1.10 of Affinity Photo, the frequency separation method was changed. So this is a look at that and also looking at a stacked frequency separation method that can give you really close control of what you want to do. The old one looked like this if you set it up, but you just played the radius and you had a tolerance thing you could play with as well. The new one looks like this, filters, frequency separation. And here you've got the radius is the same, but now you've got a method here and the tolerance only appears when you use the bilateral one, but not on the median or Gaussian. Okay, so let's lose that one there. And so now we're back to this picture here. The Gaussian is what you had before. It was the standard one. So you increase the radius here which is the blur that's put on this side. And then the detail that's lost here is kept over on this side. So it gives you two layers and you can edit the detail on one side and the detail on the other side in different ways. So this idea of frequency, it's, it's just a name. It really means detail. So imagine slicing the image by detail. So it allows you to edit it separately and we'll see how powerful that is. We're gonna start off with bilateral. And this is just a word that is used to describe it. And in fact, if we just turn the, the radius up on this, it doesn't seem to do very much. Actually, it does something quite useful. And you have to go in quite close because this works on real detail. So we've got the eye here and you can see immediately here that there is a lot of pixelation detail here. And it's probably because it's a JPEG file and so on and this comes from the the way that it's compressed etc. So if I turn the radius up on this notice it starts to sort of improve but if I keep going it sort of comes back and there is a point at which it's going to be optimal and it's actually round about one pixel and then if I go to the tolerance if I go down, it gets more bitty, but if I go up, it reduces that pixelation until actually at 100% there, it's the best I can get. And you can see on this side here, all the detail is over on this side. So it's taken off literally the noise and sliced it into its own layer here. And if I come back out again, you can see the picture looks, you can't see much in the way of change in it because it's taken off that very fine level. So if I say apply to that, then I'll just rename that the high frequency layer, bilateral noise. And I can deal with that in any way I like. And I'll just slice things up first and then I'll come back and deal with them. The next one, and you go to the low frequency one, I'll uncheck the bilateral one so I can only see the low frequency. I'm going to look here. Notice there's lines here and other things all around here, which is skin detail. And I'm going to use bilateral again on this because it's a very fine filter. So I go to frequency separation, go to bilateral, and then look here. I'm going from the you can see the grain here on the bridge of the nose. And as I go up, it sort of starts to disappear, but it kind of comes back if I go further. So I need to find the best place for that. And it's going to be around about the five pixel mark here. And then tolerance, if I go down, it, it disappears. By the way, if you go to zero, everything disappears. I think that's a bug. But then if I go up, then that's looking better higher up. But let's see what happens as well when I play with this tolerance here. As I'm going up here, I'm losing a bit of the freckles here. I want to keep the freckles because I want to slice those off in another layer. So I'm going to go as far as I can here without impacting the freckles too much. Maybe round about there, that's okay. Then apply this. 
and now I've got bilateral skin detail. So I turn that off and now I want to slice it again. This time I'm going to go to filters, frequency separation, and I'm going to use the median. And you'll see why in a moment. Because if I just bring this over here so you can see that a bit more. In fact, I'll bring it to the middle and sort of zoom in there and just move across a bit. Then what we can see here is here are the freckles. Freckles, if I go down, you can see there are freckles. If I move upwards, there's a point at which the freckles disappear because they've come over onto this side. And the medium blur, you can see what it's doing here. It's trying to preserve edges. It's not as good as the bilateral blur, but it does show you large areas like this, which are so it's separated out these areas by taking the detail over to the other side. So, and I literally go to the radius there, where, in this case, I want to slice off the freckles and apply that. And I'll call that one median freckles. And uncheck that again so I can see what's left here. And the last one. And I will go get into filters, frequency separation. And I'll bring this across here so I can see it's a half a face and half of what's happening over here. And I'll leave this on Gaussian. If I turn up the radius here, I can see that I'm, as I increase it, and where can I, shall I do this? I could do something like that, where I've just got the uh, loss, losing the detail. And so it's pretty much the details here, and this is just the vague colouring. Um, I'm not sure about this, but let's leave it like that. Now I can see here, Gaussian, call that last detail. And this one, remaining colour. Okay, so now we've got these, we put these all back, and here's our full picture, but it's made up now of these layers, all blended together. So what I can do with the noise one, if I go in there, I can see the noise is there, but I've only got this layer here. So I could just put a blur on that one. So I'll just go here to Gaussian Blur. And I'll turn up the radius just a tiny amount. In fact, by the time you get to about 0 0.2 pixels, yeah, 0.3 doesn't seem to make a difference. 0.2 pixels, that's really softened that right out. So there we've got this. We can always mask all of these layers when we're doing things as well. The next layer here was the skin detail. I want to keep that. But the median one, if I alt click this here, you can see here that you can see the freckles on it. This is other detail captured on this layer, but the freckles I just want to get rid of here. So just going to go to another one, make sure I'm on the freckles layer, get a paintbrush and make that. So I go to swatches and click on the mid gray there. So I've got a gray brush and I can leave this, I can put it on low or just for, for effect here, I'll show, I'll just put it at a maximum amount because normally this sort of thing you want to paint quite quickly. But what, look what happens when I paint here. I'm leading, painting away those freckles just a hundred percent and it's leaving behind the skin detail which is in the layer up here and it's not getting to other things which are further down. You can see the power of being able to do something like this. And you can look at the effect here. You can always go backwards and undo stuff and repeat stuff. You can take out some of that extra detail as well. And look at that, the way that that's done. That in itself is quite impressive. Let's, if I hover over there, I can see the improvement it'll make. And let's just go down here a bit as well. Let's take some of that stuff out there. So immediately, I've done an awful lot of detail on this. 
And I can then just go down into these last areas here. I can alt click on any one of these. So for example, I can see there that that is kind of, there's a line down there. If I want to soften that line on this layer, then I could use the, say, the clone brush. Click back again here, but selecting this layer, and I will just alt click to select here. Look at that down there. I'm here, I'm, I'm on 30%, which is just fine. See, I'm just softening the that there, that transition. It's probably because there's a hard light being used here. And so you can use those layers, you can edit them, and you can see that bilateral gives you fine detail, medium gives you medium detail, but and it preserves things. You can also do work on the eyes by looking for where they are and working on the appropriate layer on this. So that's it. It's, I think it's a great improvement made in version 1.10 and hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching.